Hey, Josh, Mike LeBeau here with you. It was great having you out with your dad the other day. Um, you, um, you've got a nice-looking golf swing for only playing a few times a year, and um, you certainly um, have a good time. The few times you go out, you hit, hit a lot of nice shots. We just need to see if we can make it a little bit more consistent. Uh, notice your grip here on the left, left side. Um, we noticed that your golf ball tended to fade a little bit, and just these lines that you form with your thumb and forefinger on your grip, you can see how they face uh, or they point up to the left side of your face uh, as you would be looking down. And ideally, they should be pointed more to the, to the right shoulder, if you will. Uh, your left hand needs to be rotated as you look down clockwise so that you could line it up to your right shoulder. And that would help you square the club face a lot better uh, without having to help it down at the bottom. Uh, you can see, uh, as you look at this picture on the right, uh, again, the lineup of your hands. Uh, other than that, your, your setup there looks pretty good. And uh, since you have a, uh, a weaker grip, as you come down to the ball, you tend to have to release the club a bit early and you know there's a couple things we could we could go over here but I don't think it's high on your priority list uh, I think if we fix the grip and you get to where you can hit a little bit of a draw some of these other things would take care of themselves your swing is a little bit short uh, but I'm not too worried about that and um, your pivot eventually could use a little bit of work but again, that's not high on our priority list. And it didn't take you any time at all to start feeling your ball draw to the left. It felt a lot more powerful, a lot more crisp. And um, now you just got to learn how to play for it. Uh, this angle right here, uh, you can see since your grip is rotated counterclockwise on the golf club, you can see a lot of your left arm right here underneath your right. And if you rotate your hands to the right so that those lines point at your right shoulder, uh, those lines or those, those arms will start to, uh, to line up where the right arm would cover the left. As you go up to the top, from there, again, the swing is... A little bit short, but uh, I don't think we need to worry about that. The thing I was looking at, first of all, was your ball flight. Then number two, the thing that struck me was your grip and the fact that your club face right up here is open, making you have to really work with your hands down at the bottom. And since your ball fades, you naturally, just like most golfers, would tend to swing a little bit out to in so that that fade ends up in the middle. And as we fixed your, your grip, that outside the end swing started producing a little bit of a pull hook. But as soon as you saw the ball starting drawing to your left, you were able to set up and swing what you felt was more to the right, but was actually right down the target line. So let's just stick with the grip and um, strive to always get your ball to draw just a little bit to the left. And uh, you'll have to recalibrate your distances, which is a good problem to have. Great being with you, Josh, uh, and I hope to see you soon. Talk to you later.